Brain f yes, it's actually called that, is quite an odd programming language which only makes use of 8 characters. This is what its code looks like. And yes, every single character you see serves a purpose. You can input and output data, perform conditional loops, and more. In fact, do you know what this block of code does? This says hi. This is just to say hi in brain f Lowercase, by the way, this is it in uppercase. I'll give a cookie to anyone in the comments who can translate this block of code. Malbulge, referred to as the most difficult programming language known to man. Named after the eighth circle of hell, it's one of the most difficult programming languages for a few reasons. Normally, programming languages compiled to machine code called binary. However, Malbulge converts to something called trinary, which instead of just using a 0 or 1, uses a 0, 1, and 2. Also, what you input has to go through a layer of encryption on your end, and data is interpreted through a table called a crazy operator. All of that combined creates code that looks like this. Due to all of this insanity, Malbulge is not Turing complete. It took two years for someone to be able to figure out how to say hello world in it. And that wasn't even by a human being, that was by an algorithm. Fourth, a programming language that was made in 1970, which is stack based. The stack is a data structure that does pretty much what it sounds like. It organizes information like a stack of building blocks, and it uses them on a first in last out basis. Do you know your computer's undo feature? That's pretty much done using a stack. The computer has to memorize every action you've done in a program, and in order to undo or step backward, it removes that action from the the top of the stack. Putting something onto the stack is called pushing it, and removing something from the stack is called popping it. Atlas, also known as the abbreviated test language for all systems, is a language used for automated test equipment. It's basically used on devices that perform diagnostic tests on vehicles and machines. It's used primarily in the aerospace industry and the military. Its syntax consists of a lot of abbreviated words. RPG2, developed by IBM. It's the second version of IBM's RPG programming language, or Report Program Generator. RPG2 is a Fixed format programming language. This fixed formatting lets the programmer use columns to write its code. The language is quite old, but it still has its uses in finance and manufacturing. It also has later versions such as RPG3 and RPG4. Rex, another programming language made at IBM. It's mainly used for automation. Its name stands for Restructured Extended Executor. It was also used for processing data on IBM mainframes. Its code almost reads like basic English sentences, as it doesn't use complex symbols or curly braces. Comal, also known as Common Algorithmic Language. It was created in Denmark in the 1970s. Its code reads like plain English, and it doesn't use many special symbols like curly braces. It was originally developed for mini computers, but was later adapted to run on microcomputers. Mojo, a language that's a superset of Python, which means if you already know Python, it doesn't take much to learn it. The major difference is that it's much, much faster than Python. Python tends to be a very versatile language, but a common criticism that it gets is that it's way too slow. So Mojo has the high level simplicity with the low level speed. It's mainly used for machine learning and AI. However, this language is very new, so there isn't much to say about it yet. Bash, both a command line program and a scripting language. Bash uses a command line interface known as a shell. It lets you automate tasks on your computer, manage your files, and you can even customize the UI. Learning the basics are easy, but mastering it can be quite difficult. Bash is very useful in Linux and Unix systems. Visual Fox Pro, a language designed to be used in databases, such as DBase and Microsoft Access. It's coded in an IDE of the same name. It comes with a visual drag and drop editor, to create graphical user interfaces, forms, and menus. Later versions of the language added object-oriented programming. Unfortunately, support for this language has been discontinued since 2015. DBase, a language used for database management, although it's no longer supported. Although there have been updates throughout the years such as DBase2, DBase3, and DBase3+. DBase is also a database management system. Clipper, it's another language known for its use in databases. You can also use it in conjunction with DBase, although it tends to run faster. This is because code is interpreted on the fly, which is known as just-in-time compiling. Clipper's popularity has declined over the years because it hasn't been supported since the 1990s. Uniface, this is both a programming language and a development platform. It uses a low-code approach to development, which means you write minimal amounts of code while using a drag-and-drop editor to build your components like buttons, menus, and forms. You can also use it for database management, although the community is quite small, so getting support for it may be quite difficult. SPSS, standing for the Statistical Package for the Social Sciences, isn't necessarily a programming language in the same way that C++ 
Plus and Java are. It's a software package that comes with a proprietary command syntax. It's mainly used for academic research and statistics. The software interface looks a lot like Microsoft Excel, VHDL, the VHSIC hardware description language, VHSIC meaning very high speed integrated circuits. It's mainly used in circuit boards and integrated circuits. It controls how the circuit operates, such as controlling logic gates and memory. It was originally created at the command of the US Department of Defense, Scheme, a language that is a part of the LIPS family of programming languages. Like LISP, it uses a lot of parentheses in its code. It's also optimized for performing lambda functions. Plex, the programming language for exchanges, is a language designed for a specific purpose, to control the Ericsson's Axe telephone exchanges. It's used for routing calls, ensuring smooth connection, and managing resources. Plex is a legacy language, which means it's no longer used in current systems. GML, aka Game Maker language, is a language specifically designed to be used in Game Maker Studio. GML comes in two types, GML code and GML visual. GML code is exactly what it sounds like, a code editor in Game Maker Studio. However, GML visual is a drag and drop editor that controls the functionality of the game you're making. Even though they're two different ways of handling the functionality of creating a game in Game Maker Studio, they both compile to the exact same thing. IDL, which stands for Interactive Data Language, is a language mostly used in scientific fields such as physics, biology, geology, astronomy, atmospheric physics, medical imaging, and more. It's best at handling large amounts of data and making calculations. The software you use it with also lets you visualize the data. Occam. Not much to say, it's just a programming language that's designed to do concurrent programming, which means you can make things that do several tasks at once. It's named after the philosopher William of Occam, which, just like the thought experiment of Occam's Razor, this language is mostly designed for simplicity. B. Before one of the most well-known programming languages C, there actually was a programming language called B. However, the difference with B is, B does not have data types such as characters, integers, and floats. It also doesn't have structures and pointers. It's also less portable than C. B was originally created at Bell Labs to be a simpler version of the BCPL language. Verilog, a language designed for circuits and microchips, and is mainly used by hardware engineers. It can also perform calculations and data storage. Verilog is under the class of languages called hardware description languages. Traditional programming languages are compiled and broken down into machine code that the computer can understand, and this code is then executed in the computer's CPU. However, with hardware description languages, or HDLs, the code is compiled and then used by the hardware components, such as integrated circuits, or ICs, and digital signal processors, or DSPs. TCL, aka the Tool Command Language, although sometimes pronounced Tickle, is a language that can be used for scripting, creating applications, automating tasks, and a bunch of other things. It was created in the 1980s by John Osterhout. It's known as a multi-paradigm language, which means it supports object-oriented programming and functional programming. D. Well, what comes after C? D. Well, it's also called Dlang. It was made in the 2000s to be a modern version of C and C++. But the difference between C and D are E manages memory automatically, so you don't have to use pointers like you have to do in C. It's also better at concurrent programming, which means you can build programs that utilize multi-threading. ABAP, the Advanced Business Application Programming, is a language generally used in businesses. It's used for building business applications, managing data, and handling business logic. Odin, a newer programming language that can be used for building game engines, web servers, and data analysis tools. It uses a tool called LLVM to compile it. Be sure to share this video and thanks for watching.